Hello, everybody. My name is Kev Botany, and welcome back to the seventh installment of the Minecraft Cutest Statues Ever series. Now, I'm really excited to bring you today's build, but before I get started, just let me offer a quick thanks to everybody who has been supporting this series. Man, it's been my best performing series ever so far. I'm so glad that you've been liking these builds. Keep throwing the comments down in the suggestions area there. I totally mix that up. But that is fine because, I don't know, I love your suggestions and it's always giving me new ideas for new statues and lots of other cool building ideas as well. Now, I think it's time to get looking at today's statue, so let me flip around real quick here. And we have a koala. So, I have taken a request from one of the viewers. I'll try to show it on the screen right now. I believe they re requested a few other statues. Those will be coming in the future, but I have to give them a little bit. I kind of do these on a I build them when I want to basis, so... Keep suggesting them, I will build them eventually, but you gotta wait until I wanna. So there is that, but today's koala is absolutely adorable. I think it turned out incredibly well. And now let's start talking about some of the details. All right guys, so this adorable little koala statue turned out so awesome. I'm so happy with how it looks. So we've got the body, we've got a nice shape going on there. Even from the side, it looks like a koala. From the back, it looks, well, maybe like a mouse. But there's no tail, it looks like a koala. And overall, I think it turned out really awesome. We've got the bobbly head, some well-shaped and sized ears. They're nice and prominent. Got little arms and legs sticking out to be adorable. And of course, we've got the kawaii painting eyes, nice and googly and bubbly and pretty and cute. And of course, with a koala, you've got to have the big old nose. Such a distinct feature of the koala that, yeah, definitely makes the build. So, I'm really happy with how this thing turned out. I hope you guys are too, because now it is time to get on to building it. So we're going to start off our tutorial by moving down into a new section here. And we want to start off with a 5x5 five five area, that's how much space your koala is going to take up. Now for this build I opted for some wool because I felt that it matched the fur of a koala the best. And so you want to start out one in from the back and you want to do a 2x3 and you want to build that too high like so. Then right in front on the floor you want two just down like that, those will be your legs. And then just on the sides, you can stick your arms right there. Then you can go around the back, and you can put the nice little light gray tuft of a tail. If you come around the front, we can finish off the body by actually taking out those three blocks and replacing them with the light gray. Now that'll make for some nice colored belly fur. And then we can get on with the head. So we want to take our gray wool again, go to the back right there, we want to come forward two, then we want to build that up to be three high. Then we want to take our light gray wool, we want to put that right on the front, we want that to be two high, and then our regular gray wool across the top to complete that. Now for the ears, you want to come out like that on the center of the top, and you just want to bring it around that edge like so, and then repeat that on the other side. And that just about makes it time for the eyes. So the eyes are going to go there and there. So what we want to do is we want to place down our blocks and use the old painting trick. So we want to replace this painting until we get that eye right there, just like that. Then we want to do that again for the other side. Once we're done that, we can break the blocks. And then it's time for the final piece of the koala, and that is the nose. So you want to take your black concrete right in between the eyes, one block, and then one block down. And you are done, your adorable koala statue. Well guys, that's about all I've got for you today. If you enjoyed this statue and this video, make sure to hit that like button because, yeah, really helps me out. Really lets me know that 
You didn't just watch the content, but you also enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions for future statues, make sure to let me know down in the comment section below. I reply to every single comment, and I value every single one of your inputs, so let me know, go ham. If you have five or six ideas you want to see, let me know, and I'll probably get on one of them sooner rather than later. But like I said, that's all I've got for you guys today, and thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!